solve 4 over x plus x plus 4 over 2 equals 5. We have here two denominators. Fat math, the right path to develop the fat brain that you've got. Hello everyone and welcome to Fat Math TV. Equations transformable into quadratic equations. In this video, we will have six examples of solving equations transformable into quadratic equations. And we will also have six items for practice for you. Example number one, solve x times x plus 1 equals 3 times 4 minus x. So just expand that. We will have x times x plus 1, that's x squared plus x. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x equals 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times negative x is negative 3x. And then we will have a quadratic equation. And then write this in standard form. We will have, we will put everything on the left side. So x squared plus x, copy that. And then the negative 3x will be positive 3x. And then the 12 will be negative 12. And what's left on the right side of the equation is 0. And then combine like terms here, we will have x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. And then you can factor this. Factors of x squared and uh, uh, 12. <clears throat> For 12, that will give you a positive 4. So you will have uh, positive 6 and negative 2. So x plus 6 times x minus 2 equals 0 is the factored form of x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. And then the product of these two uh, expressions is equal to 0 if one of them is 0 or both of them is 0. That is if x plus 6 equals 0 or x minus 2 is 0. x plus 6 is 0 if x is negative 6 and x minus 2 is 0 if x is 2. So we have two solutions for this. So if we will substitute negative 6 to the original equation, we will have negative 6 times negative 6 plus 1, that's uh, negative 5. That's uh, positive 30. And then 3 times uh, 4. 4 minus negative 6 is positive 10 which is also positive 30. So indeed, negative 6 is a solution to this quadratic equation because, or to this equation, transformable to quadratic equation because it satisfies the equation. How about if x equals 2? You will have 2 times 3, that's 6. And then 3 times 4 minus 2 is 2. 3 times 2 is also 6, so... Uh, also, 2 can satisfy the given equation, so we have two solutions for this quadratic equation, negative 6 and positive 2. So the solution set includes negative 6 and positive 2. <clears throat> Example number 2, solve x minus 5 squared plus x minus 4 squared equals 13. So the first thing that we will do here is we will expand x minus 5 squared is x squared minus 10x plus 25. That's x minus 5 times x minus 5. Plus x minus 4 squared is x minus 4 times x minus 4. That is x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 13. And then simplify the left side of the equation. We will have here x squared plus x squared is going to be 2x squared. Negative 10x minus 8x is negative 18x. And then 25 plus 16, that's 41. And then 13, we want this to be on the left side so that our quadratic equation is in standard form. So copy 2x squared minus 18x. And then 41 minus 13 is positive 28. And then we can factor this. Or since we have a common factor for... Uh, the terms of uh, the equation, then we can divide both sides by 2. And we will have 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. Negative 18x divided by 2 is negative 9x. And 28 divided by 2 is positive 14. And then what factors of positive 14 will give us a sum of negative 7 and negative 2? And will... <laughs> uh, 
What factors of positive 14 will give us a sum of negative 9? That's negative 7 and negative 2. So the factors are x minus 2 and x minus 7. And then the product is 0 if x minus 2 is 0 or x minus 7 is 0. x minus 2 is 0 if x is 2. And x, x minus 7 is 0 if x is 7. And then to check if our answers are correct, we have to substitute them to the original equation. If x is 2, this is 2 minus 5. That's negative 3 squared. That is 9. And then 2 minus uh, 4 is negative 2 squared. That is uh, 4. So 9 plus 4 is indeed 13. So this is okay. How about 7? 7 minus 2, uh, minus 5 is 2 squared, that is 4. Plus 7 minus 4 is 3, 3 squared is 9. That is also 13. So x equals 7 is also a solution. So the solution set includes 2 and 7. Number 3, we have here a rational algebraic equation. x minus x over x plus 1 equals 1 over x plus 1 plus 1. So for the solution, okay, let's copy that one first. What are we going to do? The first step that we're going to make is identify uh, what we're going to multiply to both sides of the equation so that we will get rid of fractions. So the choice is the least common multiple of the denominators. In this case, we only have one denominator, x plus 1, so we will multiply both sides of the equation by x plus 1, and then we will distribute. So each term of uh, uh, this equation will be multiplied with x plus 1. So x is multiplied with x plus 1. This expression, negative x over x plus 1, is also multiplied with x plus 1 equals... This one is multiplied with x plus 1, and 1 is also multiplied with x plus 1. So x plus 1 times x, that is x squared plus x. You have to distribute x. And then this will be cancelled, x plus 1, x plus 1, you will have negative x. And then here, x plus 1 and x plus 1 will be cancelled, you will have positive 1. And then for this one, you have to distribute 1 to each term, so that's x plus 1. And then x minus x here is 0, so you will have x squared on the left side. And then 1 plus 1 is 2, and then copy x. And then since we are solving for a quadratic equation, write it in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, meaning to say all terms are on the left side, and on the right side, you have 0. So we will have x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. And then factor that, you will have x plus 1 times x minus 2 equals 0. Therefore, x is negative 1 or positive 2. And then we have to substitute that to our original equation. If x is negative 1, the denominator here will be 0. That gives us an undefined expression here. So this negative one is not a solution to this quadratic uh, to this uh, equation transformable to quadratic equation. We call this x equals negative one an extraneous root or extraneous solution. So that is not part of the answer. So we cannot have this as our answer because it makes the denominator zero. How about if x is 2? We will have here 2 minus 2 over uh, 2 plus 1 is 2 thirds or 3. Yeah, so 2 thirds. Is it equal to a 1 over uh, 2 plus 1? That's 1 third plus 1. Are they equal? 2 minus 2 thirds is 6 thirds minus 2 thirds, that's 4 thirds. This is 1 third plus 3 thirds is also 4 thirds. So, correct. So, meaning to say we only have one solution for this equation, and that is x equals positive 2. Take note that 
uh, negative 1 is not part of the solution because it makes our fraction undefined. Number 4. Solve 4 over x plus x plus 4 over 2 equals 5. We have here two denominators, x and 2. So their least common multiple is 2x. So we will multiply both sides of the equation by 2x. So multiply 4 over x by 2x, multiply x plus 4 over 2 by 2x, and multiply 5 by 2x. And then we will have, uh, we will cancel x here. So 2 times 4, that's 8. And then what else? We can cancel 2 here and 2. So you will have x times x plus 4. So you have to distribute x there. Okay, so x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. And then on the, left, on the right side of the equation, 2x times 5 is 10x. And again, since this is a quadratic equation, in solving quadratic equation, it has to be in standard form. So x squared plus 4x, and then the positive 10x you put to the left, it's, it will be negative 10x, and then copy plus 8 here. And then on the right, it will be 0. And then 4x minus 10x is negative 6x. And then factor that, x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. You will get x minus 2 times x minus 4. So x minus 2 equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0. x equals 2 or x equals 4. And then again, the last step in, the, in this lesson, in solving equations transformable into quadratic equations, check with the original equation if it satisfies the given equation. So if x is 2, we will have 4 over 2. That is 2. Plus, you will have uh, 2 plus 4. That's 6 over 2. That's 3. So 2 plus 3 is indeed 5. So this 2 is okay. How about if x is 4? 4 over 1 is... Uh, 4 over 4 is 1. Plus, 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So 1 plus 4 is indeed equal to 5. So x equals 4 is another solution. So we have the set containing 2 and 4 for our solution set. Number 5, solve 9 minus x over 3 plus x equals negative 2 over x plus 1. Again, we have two denominators here, 3 and x plus 1. So the product of 3 and x plus 1 will be multiplied to each term. So we will have 3 times x plus 1 times 9 minus x over 3 plus 3 times x plus 1 times x equals 3 times x plus 1 times negative 2 over x plus 1. So we have here, uh, we can cancel 3 and 3, and then you'll have x plus 1 times 9 minus x. You can uh, use your, uh, uh, what they call this, multiplying algebraic expressions. <clears throat> and then for this one, 3 times x plus 1 times x, you will get, uh, you can distribute this. This is going to be 3x plus 3 times x. So that is 3x squared plus 3x. And then for the right side of the equation, x plus 1 and x plus 1 will be cancelled. So 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6. And then simplify the left, you will be having uh, 3x squared minus x squared. So that's 2x squared. 8x plus 3x is 11x. And then copy 9. And then the negative 6 you put to the left it will be positive 6. So you will have 2x squared plus 11x plus 9 plus 6 is 15 equals 0. And then factor this, you will have 2x plus 5 times x plus 3 equals 0. And then 2x plus 5 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0. So that means 2x is negative 5 or divide both sides by 2, x is negative 5 halves. For x plus 3 equals 0, x is negative 3. And then you substitute the original equation and check if uh, it will satisfy. And then I will leave to you the substituting. And uh, in this case, I'll just conclude that these two are the solutions. Number 6, last example for this video. And then you will have uh, 6 items for your practice. 
solve 2 over x minus 4 plus 3 over x minus 2 equals 3. So, multiply both sides by x minus 4 times x minus 2. So, multiply each term and then identify which uh, terms can be cancelled. So, x minus 4 can be cancelled here and cancelled here. You will have x minus 2 times 2. <clears throat> So, x times 2 is 2x, and then negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. In this case, we can cancel x minus 2 here. You will have x minus 4 times 3, that's 3x minus 12. And then, uh, for the left side, you will have x minus 4 times x minus 2 times 3. x minus 4 times x minus 2 is x squared minus 6x plus 8. And then, times 3, you will get... 3x squared minus 18x plus 24. For the left side of the equation, 2x plus 3x is 5x. And negative 4 plus negative 12, that's negative 16. In this case, since uh, the x squared here is on the right side, I'll put everything on the right instead of putting everything on the left. If you put <coughs> everything to the left and then factor, then uh, you will arrive at the same answer. So in this case, uh, we will put everything on the right so that we will have a positive coefficient of x squared. So you will have, if you put uh, positive 5x to the left, it's going to be negative 5x. And the negative 16 will be positive 16. And then combine like terms, we will have 3x squared. Negative 18x minus 5x is negative 23x. And 24 plus 16 is 40. And you can factor this. You can have 3x minus 8 and x minus 5 for this one. So the factoring, I will leave that to you because at this point, you should have mastered factoring uh, trinomials, quadratic trinomials. So and then uh, 3x equals, uh, 3x minus 8 equals 0. So that's uh, 3x equals positive 8 and then divide both sides by 3. So x equals 8 thirds. For x minus 5 equals 0, x is positive 5. And then you can substitute that to the original equation. And you will have, uh, t uh, you will satisfy the given equation. Uh, usually the uh, solutions that will make, that will be extraneous roots are uh, the values of x that will make the denominator 0. So what will make the uh, denominator 0 here? x equals 4 and x equals 2. So you have to be careful if you got an x equals 4 here or an x equals 2, then that is an extraneous root, meaning to say it's not actually a root of this equation or it is not a solution to the given equation transformable to quadratic equations. Okay, enough of the examples. This time, let us have a practice. So we have here six items similar to uh, the given examples. Solve the following equations transformable to quadratic equations. Number one, x plus two. Quantity squared equals four x plus 13. Number two, x times x minus three equals four times x plus two. Number three, x over two plus six over x equals four. And number four, x plus four over seven plus two equals three over x minus two. Number 5x plus x over x minus 3 equals 3 over x minus 3. Number 6, 1 over x plus 5 plus 2 over x plus 3 equals negative 1. So if you're not um, confident yet to answer these uh, items, then please go back to uh, the examples that were given. So we have there 6 similar items to uh, these items. So if you're done, then let us check your answers. Number one, we have negative three or three. Number two, negative one or eight. Number three, two or six. Number four, negative 19 or three. Number five, only negative one because we will have there x equals three as an extraneous root. And number six, x equals negative 7 or negative 4. So that's it for equations transformable into quadratic equations. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!